So here we go, our bones here, and I'm back with Star Wars The Old Republic. Gonna be playing my Star Wars Consular this time. Gonna be continue on, uh, continuing on where we left off. Uh, gonna be going to Tatooine this time, so... Let's see... Uh, I think this is the one where we help the Jawas, isn't it? I uh, don't remember much. But anyways, on to Tatooine we go. And let's see... Oh, yeah, I got a convo with Theron, looks like. Jedi, the Council sees you've arrived on Tatooine. Good. We can't waste any time. Tatooine is a vast desert world where survival is often precarious. Master Eris Vassen, one of the Jedi's best cultural explorers, was there when he dropped out of contact with the Council. Has he exhibited any symptoms of the plague? No. But he was a member of the expedition to Malachor III, as were Master Yuan and the others. Cultures must perform a delicate balancing act to even survive on Tatooine. Master Erez came to Tatooine to study that balancing act. If this illness has claimed him, it would be a great loss to the Jedi Order and threaten the groups he was sent to study. I won't let you down. Erez hired a guide to help him navigate Tatooine's treacherous deep desert and make contact with its residents. One of Master Erez's last reports was that his guide had developed the Sand Rot, an illness caused by prolonged, repeated desert exposure. The guide's name is Rowan Delk, and he is currently recuperating at the Dreviat Outpost Medical Center. He's your best lead. Consider it done. Work quickly. Master Erez is vital to the Order. And if he has this plague, well, you more than any of us know what that means. All right, got our next mission. I just think the Mary Allen looks super cool with the yellow orange eyes. I don't know why, but pretty cool. Anyway, let's go talk to Theron real quick and then we'll go head down. Just one moment, Jedi. Holiday's latest viral safeguards need to upload. Quite a weighty update this week. Mm-hmm, someone's been busy. I should give this my full attention. Good night. Ah, Holiday. You are unique indeed. You and Holiday clearly care for each other. My affections are all-encompassing, Jedi. Though Holiday is special, her former owner never appreciated Holiday's potential. That's a hut for you. You'd crossed paths with the Hut Cartel before we met? Oh no, I encountered him on Hata. Glorzo, his name was. He collected rare technology, but he thought Holiday was just a novelty hologram. Imagine. I made a generous offer, but some scavenger had already struck a deal for her. So, Glorzo saw the chance for a little fun. What happened then? Glorzo proposed a contest. The scavenger and I would head into the Val asteroid field, hopefully surviving more than two minutes. The first to bring back a stone from the Rukabi Major asteroid would win Dear Holiday. I hear approaching Rukabi Major is suicidal. There's too much debris around it. I had the last laugh. Clever piloting is no match for knowing certain navigational algorithms. I got the stone, returned days before the scavenger, and exchanged it for Sweet Holiday. So you heroically rescued Holiday from the grip of a cruel hut and won her heart. Someday it'll make an excellent holo novel. Still, this is all past. And you, my Jedi, have provided a most invigorating change for my usual activities. That's very gracious. Sadly, I often find words inadequate to fully express myself. I actually don't remember what happens to uh, Holiday later on. I know we find Theron, but I think uh, Holiday was somewhere else. I think he does explain it if you, uh, talk to him with the consular when you meet him again, with him again. But I just don't remember what happens. I'll have to replay it later. Tyrants, damn tyrants, the lot of you. Treating a grown man like he's a baby. Like he can't take care of himself. Lie down, Delk, and quit roaring. 
I swear, a Ranko with heartburn would make less noise than you. I'll make as much noise as I want. Hey, Jedi! You a friend of Master Ares? Get Darth Nurse here off my back, will you? Master Ares is exactly the reason I've come to talk to you. You two can talk, but don't let him fool you into letting him walk, Jedi. He's got the sand rot, and bad. <coughs> Man breathes in a little sand, and after 20 years guiding folks through the desert, he suddenly <coughs> can't make decisions for himself. What's it you wanted to know about Master Ares? We believe Master Ares is very ill. I'm listening. Jedi Plague? Begging your pardon, but uh, I don't believe it. Sure, maybe some Masters, but not Master Ares. He's the brightest, most level-headed guy I ever met. These Jedi Masters are among the Order's best. That's what makes this plague so serious. Look, you want to talk to him? <laughs> You're welcome to it, but I'm telling you, he's just as sane as you or me. When I left him, he was in the desert with them annoying little Jawas. I <laughs> really impressed him how they managed to survive out there. I'll go talk to these Jawas, then. They're friendly folk, the Jawas. Even if they don't understand the meaning of the words private property, if Master Ares isn't still with them, I'm sure they'll help you find them. Well, the nurse just kind of appeared out of thin air there. All right, let's go find our Jawa friends. Well, this doesn't look very good. Only Imperial Stormtroopers could be so precise. Oh, yeah, I wonder if I can actually get hurt by standing in the fire. Ah, nah, okay, just cosmetic, I guess. What can you tell me of this other Jedi? Why did Master Eras instruct you to build war machines? Give me this message. If I help you get your parts back, will you help me find the war maker? Alright, let's go take the parts back from the Geonosians. Oh, and that's that. It's a lore object. Whoops. Give me the message, and you'll get your parts. I am quite honored. Yay, I'm a Jawa now. I'm part of the clan. Be kind of funny. Maybe I'll make an outfit out of this. And just do the rest of the, the planetary mission with that, with the cloak on.
Hello there, Jedi. Would you look at this? They let me walk around the clinic. <laughs> Soon they might let me cross the street by myself. <laughs> Any luck finding Master Ares? I didn't find him, but the Jawa said he made this for you. What's this? <laughs> A m message from Master Ares? Well, I know this encryption. It shouldn't take long to crack. Huh? Eh, there. Care to see what he has to say? Rowan, you've realized by now that I've left those most resourceful of creatures, the Jawas, in pursuit of greater things. I came to Tatooine to discover the secret to life. Not its creation, but its ongoing survival. How do some species thrive while others fail? A great darkness is coming, Rowan, and to withstand it, we must know the answer to that question. That phrase is familiar. Has Master Eris spoken of this darkness before? Not to me, but there's more here. Maybe he explains it. I believe that the Jawas, whose enduring civilization thrives in spite of Tatooine's harsh conditions, would answer that question. But during my daily meditation beneath the pillars, I saw a vision on the cave wall that showed me the error of my assumptions. I now know the true original people of Tatooine. The warriors whose knowledge I will use to stem the coming darkness. What is he talking about? Who are these people he's gone to? You really want to find this guy, don't you? I don't get it. Sounds perfectly sane to me. Master Ares used to take lights out to a cave near the rock pillars at night and meditate. Sounds like that's when he had his vision. Well, you're a Jedi. Maybe you could do the same thing. Visions don't exactly work that way. But I should have a look at this meditation site. You can use my old dragon flares as lights. Uh, <coughs> the cave gets pretty dark. Just be careful out there. Rumor is the sand people are getting riled up. Don't let them catch you with your lightsaber sheaths. Ah, uh, yes. The sand people. Two more over there. Should I get them? Nah. Well, maybe. I don't know. Oof. Spooky. Definitely looks like some Eldritch stuff. I wish they'd show what the other races look like. Jedi! Did it work? Did you see Master Ares' vision? What Master Ares saw wasn't mystical at all. It was a carving made by the Sand People. A carving? Now, Master Ares never mentioned a carving on those walls. What did it show? Let's see if I can explain this. I'm listening. The Sand People are the oldest group on Tatooine? <laughs> Doesn't say much for progress. Still, I bet none of them get the sand rot. <coughs> I have a hard time believing Master Ares would do anything so cockeyed as working with the Sand People. At least the Jawas are good for droid repair. I just need to find him to make sure he's okay. Wait. <coughs> what did you say the symptoms of this thing were? Delusions? Paranoia? What violence? One group of sand people has been unusually aggressive lately. Normally, they stick pretty close to their camps. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying I think Master Ares is behind it, but uh, maybe it's worth looking into. So where would I find these sand people? There's a farm and settlement out at Malcolm's Dunes that's been reporting a lot of sand people activity. 
I'll meet you out there. I know some of those folks, and uh, <laughs> I can help your investigation. I thought you weren't supposed to go out into the desert. Says who? Bunch of doctors never set foot outside of Anchorhead in their lives? <laughs> Besides, <laughs> it'll do me good. I don't care if it kills me. <laughs> I'm tired of being an invalid. Ooh, it's got the black lung. Ain't good for nobody. Um. Listen, Delk, we got broken vaporators, a pile of wounded, and our food stores are almost completely gone. That lunatic said he was a Jedi and a friend of yours. We trusted him. You better have a pretty good explanation for why this Master Ares keeps sending sand people out to attack us. I think Master Ares may be unwell. Another Jedi? Damn it, Delk. Why do you keep leading them here? Listen here. We've already lost too much to that Master What's-His-Face and his army of sand people. So why don't you just leave here quiet-like and don't cause any more trouble? I don't want trouble. Just tell me what's going on. I'm sorry, Jedi, but our trust is a bit worse for the wear at this point. Well, Master Ares was nice enough when he came through asking to study the Sand People. But ever since we pointed him to their camp, you could set your chrono by their attacks. We got nothing left. The Sand People are your enemies, not me. You suggesting we go out there and attack the Sand People? You want us to get killed? Then tell me where Master Ares is so I can stop him. It's your only chance. You know it's true, Malcolm. Okay, fine. Seems we don't have a choice. I'll draw you a map, but I still don't trust you. I'll warn you, though. Master Ares did something to these sand people. They're stronger. Faster than any we've seen. Hmm. Well, I think I know where that is. I'll get some gear together and meet you out there, maybe. Provide backup. <laughs> I can take care of myself. Even so, I'd like to see Master Ares for myself. <laughs> Still can't believe the Master Ares I worked with is the same guy who's causing so much trouble. All right, let's go. I mean, if I really was their enemy, I could just, just slaughter them all right here. There he is. Rowan, Jedi. You're about to witness it. After weeks of work, finally, an end to the darkness. These people, these marvelous, marvelous specimens, have been tested, no, purified, in the crucible of Tatooine's harsh environs. They alone are the hope of the galaxy. Their strength, their society, is the blueprint of our salvation. Master Ares, you are very ill. No, not ill. Not ill at all. They are simple. But long after the Empire and the Republic are gone, these people will remain. Their culture is built around strength. They cut the weak away like a societal cancer. Don't you see? It's the only way. The Jedi Order has a responsibility to weak and strong alike. How can I make you understand? They are the ultimate warriors purified by hardship. We must follow their example and cut away everything that would make us weak in the face of our adversaries. The frail, the diseased. <laughs> You're not thinking straight. Now, <clears throat> look, I'm sick, Eris. You gonna cast me out too? I have no choice. We must fortify the Republic with its strongest members and send this army of light out against the darkness. You are not yourself. These are not your thoughts. You fools. To oppose me is to reveal your own weakness. You will be cast out. You know, in a way, it's not really wrong. The Sand People outlast both the Republic and the Empire, so... Some truth to it. Although, oh, if the 
Empire and the Republic really wanted to, they could just wipe out the Sand People. you strike the killing blow, listen to me. I... I hear Lord Vivica's voice. I've failed him, just as I failed my old friend Parcanus when he died. Why does everyone mention Parcanus? I don't know, but I keep thinking about our first mission, our ill-fated mission to Malachor III. We were all weak. We all came under the thrall of the dark side. We did things we regretted, but Borcanus was our strength. As we tried to escape, I fell behind, and he ran back to save me. He became trapped. We had to leave him. It was my weakness that killed him. It's hard to lose a friend like that, but you have to move on. I'm trying to. That is the purpose of this project. Think about it. The Jedi Order spent so much time protecting the helpless and caring for the sick when we could be fighting the Empire. You must kill me. I was weak on Malachor III, and I'm weak now. But you must take my findings before the Council. Promise me that. Let's see how you feel once Lord Vivacar no longer has a hold on you. What? What was that? You... He's gone. Somehow you've driven Lord Vivacor away. I... I no longer hear his voice. I almost... I almost wish you hadn't done that. Lord Vivacor twisted my mind. And I'm glad to be free of him. Still, my discovery remains. From these sand people, I have learned the key to building the unstoppable army. I feel I must bring these findings to the Republic. Yet, I can't shake this feeling that some truths are best left buried in the sand. This knowledge is too dangerous for the Republic. But in the right hands, it could be very helpful. Yes. Knowledge like this mustn't be hidden. I will return to Anchorhead and make my report. Thank you for your guidance, and for saving me from Vivica's grasp. Well, Jedi. I can't say I would have done the same thing, but uh, I'm glad Master Ares is alive and his old self. <coughs> Best get back to Anchorhead myself. Sand rot's acting up, and, uh, <coughs> well, frankly... Sort of, sort of Miss Darth Nurse's hollering. Thank you for all you've done. Good luck with whatever it is you're doing, Jedi. <laughs> hope, hope you find this Lord Vivicar. Hmm, interesting. I just clicked it without realizing it was a dark side option. Hmm. Not sure if I made the right choice there, but eh, I'll live with it. Guess we'll go back to our ship. Ah, home sweet home. Master Ares has reported back to the Council. Good work. He speaks of discoveries on Tatooine. We intend to hear his full report when he returns to Coruscant. Did you discover anything more about the Plague Master, this Lord Vivacar? Master Ares seemed to think that Vivacar was why he kept remembering Malachor III and his friend Parcanus. A connection between the events on Malachor III and our current circumstances is clearly forming. The Council will continue its own investigation into the matter. Meanwhile, hurry to Alderaan. So long as Lord Vivacar has control of even one master, he will grow in power. I won't let you down. Good. Do not delay. Every wasted moment works in Lord Vivacar's favor. 
All right, and that is going to conclude the Tatooine storyline for our Cod Solar. We're going to be going to Alderaan next, so that'll be pretty dang cool. I actually don't remember too much on the Alderaan part, so I guess it'll be a, a big refresher, I guess. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bones out.